This is an honor for us. Ladies, we were expecting. Would you take our back? Yes, of course. You two, the steamer trunks. Porter, take the ladies' baggage. Sophie, don't forget that Mina is not coming along. Have a pleasant trip. Thank you. Goodbye. Vincent, take Mina home on your way to the chateau. I will, sir, and have a safe journey. <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> your train is ready for boarding, sir. If you kindly follow me, I'll take you to your car. Here you are. I'll let you get settled in. If there's anything you need, don't hesitate. Thank you. Ah. Uh. Paul, help me carry that chair so I can look out of the window. All aboard, please, all aboard. The train for the half is ready to leave. All aboard! I was aware that Mr. Ficini's goal was to link all the states in America by train. But you didn't know he was the chief stockholder of the transcontinental line. My word, no. Oh, why, when you think of the thousands of miles that are needed to cross America... That should give you a fairly good idea of the great wealth he accumulated. Paul, move over. I haven't any room. I'd like a little room as well, so I can look out. No. My father runs the railroad, so I'm the one who decides. We'll see. Uh, stop it, Paul! Oh, I will not! Uh, Ow! Uh, Sophie, oh, Paul, is everything all right? Uh, yes, Auntie. Everything's fine, Mama. Good. Take your old place, Miss Selfish. You look silly with your face stuck to the window. Here's what my face says to you. <laughs> seen one like it. Oh, look, there are children on the bridge. They're waving at us. Hello. Here we are. Papa, can I open the window? Yes, but don't lean your head out. Oh. My dear, you'll see. you like America. I'm sure you will. Two years is a long time, and it's so far away, so long. And I already miss the life in Paris. <laughs> Oh, yes, it is long, but it's not forever. Perhaps it will be even shorter. The time will go quickly. <laughs> Sophie, I warned you, didn't I? Look at you now, full of soot, as if you'd swept a chimney. <laughs> Mama, my eyes are... Come here, Sophie. You're just as disobedient to your father as you are to me at home. Let me have a look at that. There, it's all gone. Now then, clean your face off and don't move. We'll be arriving shortly. Look out here. It's the sea. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look 
that's so cool. Oh, see it all. Mama, Auntie, look at those men. Do you see them? What are they doing? Sophie, in every port, there are always public scribes. They write letters yeah. for sailors who I'll don't know how to soon. write. All right, hoist away, go on! <laughs> Wait for me! Huh? Oh, my hat! Give it back! Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Oh, they're so beautiful! All of them! Oh, Paul, ask Mama to please buy some so they can come with us. Don't even think uh, about it. Mama, they're so lovely. Look at the little monkey. Isn't he adorable? And those birds. They'd be such good company. But the crossing is so long. You heard me, Sophie. The answer is no. Oh, Mama, please, please. Just one bird. This one. Poor bird. He's better off in there. Do you recall what you did to my bullfinch? No, Mama. The poor thing was almost killed by a cat that Sophie adopted. Not to mention the squirrel you put into a cage, nor the poor donkey you almost whipped to death. Ah, oh, I can't imagine how children invent these strange ideas. I admire your patience and your firmness, my dear. <laughs> That's our boat. Look, Sophie, that's a bill. Oh. I've always wondered how parents with four or five children manage to survive. I could never do it. Mama, did you ever consider having more children? Heavens no. One is more than enough. <laughs> Yee-hoo, Paul! Sophie, do you have a little wash basin in your room? Of course we have one. Did you notice that the beds are attached to the floor? Yes, the cupboards too. And the table and the rest of the furniture as well. These are all Mama's. Look at the lovely dresses. I'm so happy to be travelling in the same cabin as Mama. My father's and my uncle's cabins are just the same. And mine and my mother's as well. Everything's so small and pretty. I want to be a sailor when I grow up and sail everywhere. I don't want you to be a sailor because I'd never see you. But we could travel together, you and I as shipmates. No, I would never leave Mama. I'm going to stay with her forever, and you're going to stay with me, and that's that. Ladies, gentlemen, welcome aboard the Sibyl. Cargo's all on board, Captain. Fine. Ah, so, these are our two youngest passengers. Young man, what is your name? Paul, sir. Um, Captain, that is. <laughs> Paul, fine. And what is your name, young lady? Sophie. Sophie de Rayon. Well, my two new friends, I'm delighted to be crossing the ocean with you. Sir, the anchor has been raised. Sailors to their positions. Sailors to their positions. Lower the mainsail. Lower the mainsail. See you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Have a safe trip. There you are. 
have now seen every little corner of Lassie Bill. You know it as well as I do. It really is such a shame. What is? That we don't have hammocks in our cabins. <laughs> that's the missing mast. Up there, that's the royal mast. Oh, and that one? Let me see, the topsail. Oh, well done. I'm proud of you. Oh, Sophie. Your mothers are looking for you. Paul learns ever so quickly. You have a future sailor for a son. I do. It's so kind of you to give so much of your time. You did thank the captain, Paul. You also have a very polite son, madam. You are very lucky to have a son like Paul, who is as kind and polite as he is intelligent. <sighs> as for this young lady, she reminds me of my own daughter. Very high-spirited. I like that. Mama. Everything's turning. Nothing to worry about, Miss Sophie. A touch of seasickness. It'll go away if you eat something. <sighs> Thank you, Blaze. Thank you. Paul! Paul, are you ready? No, not quite, Sophie. Hurry up, I'm waiting. Be there in just a second. How long are you going to continue shouting to each other? I wanted to stop this instant. Sorry, Mother. Forgive me. Should I wear this, Mama? What's that? Oh, oh, your jacket. Why, yes, it looks very nice on you. Oh, Paul, must you always stick so closely to me? Can't you see I have other things to do? Sophie, you weren't planning on going to dinner without brushing your hair. Come here. Yes, Mama. An inheritance in America. A very strange adventure. Mr. Ficini, you see, who left us his fortune, was an old friend of the family. We've got to go to New Orleans, which is where he lived and made his fortune. But as soon as we can, we shall come back. It will take some time to clear things up and to see that his adopted daughter, Miss Fedora, is taken care of. But then we'll return to France. I hope we don't die of sheer boredom in the state of Louisiana. Would you know if they ever hold a ball there? Is there a theater or an opera? Is there anything to do? I couldn't tell you that. I spend most of my time on the ships, so I know nothing about social activities. I don't know how we shall survive at the other end of the world without the culture and social life we're so used to. And you? Are you happy that you're going to America? We're very excited about it. We can't wait to be there. You know, they speak differently in America. Oh, yes, yes we, know. we know. They speak English, but with a different accent. But in New Orleans, they speak French, too. That's true, but their French is different too. It's nothing at all like the French that's spoken in France. We'd love to hear another one of your stories, sir. You know so many. Where do you think you huh? are? Now stop annoying the captain, will you? On the contrary, I admire this curious mind. Do you know the story of Captain Surkouf? Wasn't he a pirate? No, Paul. Robert Surkouf was a corsair. Is there any difference? Captain Surcouf was in the service of the King of France. His ship was called the Fox. It was lighter and faster than the book we were on. Surcouf Time will pass more quickly if you keep busy. You could try sewing a little. Can I watch you, Mama? That's really nice. An S for Sibyl. No, an S for Sophie. I'm making this <gasps> handkerchief for you. <laughs> we me and you'll see I can slide faster and further than you. We'll see about that. <laughs> Stop it! Stop! You're splashing me! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please, show us around the boat again. But you've been around it ten times already, young lady. 
<laughs> Sophie, we'd better go back to our cabins. Our parents will be angry if we don't. Yes, I know, but they all seem to be having so much fun. Why is America so far away? <laughs> <laughs> we knew it was going to be a long voyage, but we've had fun all the same. The other day, I thought you said you liked it. But that was a few days ago. The truth is I'm bored. It's too long to stay in one place, and only a fool would say how much fun it is to be on the ocean. We'll go on if you prefer to brood. It doesn't look as if the sea air has had the slightest effect on your patience. Now listen, I laugh when I'm having fun, and not when I feel bored. Complain all you like, Sophie, but it's not going to make the trip any shorter. That's enough. I think you enjoy getting me angry. Good night. Ladies, gentlemen, I'll say good night now. Good night. Land can't be that far away. I'm sure if I looked hard enough, I... That's dangerous, Sophie. Don't! Sophie, I thought you said you wanted to become a sailor when you grow up. <laughs> Some sailor you are. Come down before you get hurt. Ah, leave me alone. Come down. Ah. Oh, look at what you've done. It's your fault. It is not. Yes, it is. Now I've lost Mama's shawl and she's going to scold me. Ah. Paul, don't. Paul, come back. <laughs> Good Lord, Paul! Here. Paul, such imprudence. And such courage. Young man, do you mind telling me what you're doing out here at night? Why didn't you go to your cabin? I'm very sorry, Father. It's my fault. The boat was tossing, so I couldn't sleep. No, Sophie, both of us couldn't sleep. And look at this shawl. You know it was my favourite. Sophie, you've been a good girl up to now. I'd like you to keep it up. More than half the voyage is over. I know it's very long for you, dear, but it will pass quickly from now on. Please be patient. Time for bed tomorrow. We'll find something for you to do. Paul? What is it? You will stay with me always, won't you? Yes, I promise.
Take Sophie and get on board. Hurry, before it's too late. Go on. Wait! Oh! 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 